A lot of excitement around here when it comes to Drake May Sunday. What's uh, where are you looking at when it comes to this game? Uh, but can I just say, you didn't think you were going to get that right with the soccer just now. No, I mean you nailed it. Yeah, honestly, it's, it's pretty I, good. You are it's you, not bad. I, I should say I would say that you surprise me, but you don't. Your knowledge is vast. Every single sport, yeah. Vast, and, vast. And I just and I just want to say that on my driver's license it says I'm five foot nine. Oh, and who am I to disagree with the government? <laughs> uh, th there, yeah, there's a lot. There should be a lot of optimism right. right now around Drake May. Um, I would be optimistic if I were a Patriots fan. I don't know how well this weekend's going to go, and I'm going to give you kind of a lukewarm opinion on this game. It's actually not lukewarm, but I just don't have a firm side here. Um, I think this game goes one of two ways. It's possible given that Nico Collins is out for the Texans, right? And the Texans offense hasn't been great this season. Like, what if Drake May's awesome on Sunday? It's it, Like, that could be something that happens. Like, he could be really good. Also, he could be really bad. So I think anyone out there that's listening, if you want to bet the Patriots on Sunday, I would just bet the Patriots to win the game. Like, forget, forget about plus seven. Bet them to win. I think they are more live to win the game with Drake May, obviously, than with Jacoby Brissett. But on the flip side, if you think this is going to be disaster, offensive line can't block, like May is set up for failure here, I wouldn't lay seven with the Texans. I would, like, like lay 13 and a half, 14 and a half alternate lines. I think Texans either win in a blowout or the Patriots win the game outright. But, uh, yeah, I'd be really pumped if I were a Patriots fan. Season starts this weekend. Yeah. So, so Nick, I you mentioned, like, if you think the Patriots have a chance, like, that you should just bet them to win. My thought, too, was uh, I would just bet a Drake May anytime touchdown because, like, you saw it in the preseason. They want to get him the football. He's going to be a weapon when you get inside the 10-yard line. So if you think they're going to score and they're somehow going to come close to winning, you're almost equally as better off just betting the anytime touchdown, which you're going to get a better number on anyways, right? Um, I don't know about, like, maybe. I mean, just, again, like, the offensive line's really bad. Uh, are they going to design runs for him? You could be right. I just don't know how this is going to look. I'd be more interested, uh, personally, in playing... Jalen Polk and Demario Douglas. Like, that's what I'm excited about. And look, May is a really good athlete. We did see that in the Commanders preseason game where uh, May looked better than – I don't know if Gene Daniels played in that game. But I'm excited for the connection now between the rookie quarterback and the young receivers. I think Douglas is really good and hasn't been unlocked yet because the quarterbacks have been bad. I think Polk's definitely good. Would have liked to seen him get his feet down in the end zone last Sunday against Miami. But that's what I'm pumped for here. Maybe May scores an anytime touchdown. But let's see the May Polk and May Douglas collapse. Uh, connections on Sunday. Nick, you just brought up Jaden Daniels, the battle of the DMV. Baltimore minus, I, it, I'm seeing one, it says minus seven. Where, where are you where are you falling in this game? Is this a game that you like Washington or is this something that, you know, Baltimore is going to be able to win this game by more than seven points? So, like, betting, betting wise, Washington's been a really interesting team because it's taken the betting market a long time to catch up to how good the commanders actually are. So, we've seen a couple instances re recently Washington a couple weeks ago against Arizona, last week against Cleveland, where like sharp betters, quote unquote, are going against Washington because of what their power ratings tell them coming into the season. And and I bet Washington both games, and I was on the public side, and the public won both times, and I won both times. Uh, I'll be on the public side again here. Washington's offense is just too good. Like, for now, until Cliff Kingsbury, very handsome, oatmeal for brains, until his offense gets figured out <laughs> later in the year. He looks like Ryan Gosling. He's a handsome guy. Uh, but the offense is too good right now. Like, it, the point spread's too big. Uh, I like the commanders a lot to cover the spread coming up on Sunday. Mm -hmm. Costos, we were talking about college football uh, this week, and Curtis gave us a lock. Just want to know your thoughts. Oh, uh, can't, can't wait for this. Ducks. <laughs> no, noted college football betting expert Chris Curtis. What do we got here? Uh, he's, ta uh, he's taking the Ducks plus three in the over. Great. Uh, I'll, I'll book his action. I'll take Ohio State in the game. I love it. Uh, I'm, still, I'm still reeling over the three-nil halftime humble brag. <laughs> That was a humble break. You set me up to talk about Manchester United. I I, I, slay, I I gave you 10 out of 10 what you asked me for. That was actually very impressive to just go straight to soccer and you didn't miss a beat. Yeah, it's yeah. Nikki football. Yeah. That's right. You have a young child. How are you watching all of this? Well, it's a great question. <laughs> DDR, <laughs> Costos, you uh, are a noted Giants fan. Uh, do you think you have any shot Sunday night hosting the Bengals? Not if Malik Neighbors doesn't play. Um, in all seriousness, like kind of concerning, Neighbors was concussed 15 days ago. So it was two weeks ago yesterday in that Thursday night Giants-Cowboys game. Mm -hmm. Still hasn't cleared concussion protocol. Like He could practice today. That's possible. I think it's unlikely. 
He's trending towards not playing. Also, Tavon Thibodeau, one of the Giants' like young stud pass rushers, broken wrist. He's week to week now. He's going to miss this game as well. And I'm going to give you like an underrated aspect of this game that I think the broadcast will talk about on Sunday night. If the big bouse, Zach Mouse, one of Cincinnati's running backs, plays on Sunday night. Like, I'm not saying he's someone that matters for the point spread, but he's their pass-protecting running back, and he's going to make a huge difference protecting Joe Burrow in this game against the Giants' pass rush. I think he's going to play, and I think Burrow's going to nuke this Giants' defense. I hate to say it, I'd only bet the Bengals on Sunday night. Well, clearly, Nick, you weren't looking at page six because Malik Neighbors was pottying hard at the, I believe it was Travis Scott concert. So oh, it looks really? like, yeah, it looks like he'll be able to get through the uh, concussion protocol. Well, I don't think you get your, well, I shouldn't say what I was going to say. I, I'm not going to say anything. I'll just say that my concern with Malik Neighbors is more his taste in music is terrible than uh, <laughs> than like than him going to a concert. I'd rather him go with Shime to see the Gin Blossoms at, in Ocean City. <laughs> gin Blossoms were a great time, man. You should have been there. No, I, no, I shouldn't. Uh, so, Costas, uh, I got another one for you here. I uh, Courtney has been keeping track of my picks. It haven't been great, uh, but I, we hit last night on Geno Smith. Shout out to Geno Smith. My pick for Who's the weekend. We? Uh, me. We is me. You, you did. Okay. Yes, well, and did. those who bet based on how shiny. The royal we. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. The royal we. Shime is such a massive per a personality. He's now plural. Yep. Like exactly. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, so my my thought over the weekend is is I'm gonna go with the uh, AJ Brown over receiving prop here. Uh, I love AJ Brown to have a bounce back week coming off the injury, coming off the bye week, uh, and he's going up against Cleveland, who is giving up a ton of yards to number one receivers and number one quarterbacks. Uh, you're your thoughts, please. What's it? Do you have the number? Uh, I believe at last look it was 69 and a half. Uh, mm. Nice. Yes, nice. Uh, yeah, uh, definitely over. Yeah, I think that's a that's a really, really, really strong look. Yeah, Ben and MGM has 70 and a half. Yeah, like on, honestly, like I, we, this will be we. I'm with you on this one. So we is Love you that. and me at the very least here. I think that's a, uh, like I'm going to take that this weekend and I'm going to bet it. We and, hit, get, and I will give it out as my own on Sunday. We hit on uh, <laughs> Packers minus three last weekend. Shout out to the Packers. So you and I. At it again, the yes. Costo Shime lock of the yes. week, AJ Brown, seventy plus receiving yards. That's, I mean, look, it's if it if it loses, it loses. It's an yeah. easy bet to make. You should go way over. Well, you guys now, you guys are the sharps. You never yeah. lose. Well, well we're one and zero when we're aligned. So well, I had saying. I had the under in the game last night, and there were nine hundred points scored. So that that didn't go great for me. <laughs> Have been slaying the baseball playoffs yeah. though. though oh really? Oh, awesome. Slaying, yeah. slaying. <laughs> Well, Nick, Slay. every single time a gambler admits they miss a bet, they immediately follow it up with 10 bets you've never heard of that they nailed. Well, he did give them out on this program last week. That is, that is accurate. Gave, gave, you, out, gave out the Mets. You, Absolutely. You, you have to be a huge Subway Series guy. Yes. Like, no, I'm be. not. I uh, am. Do you know why they call it the Subway Series? <laughs> so this is this is a true story. Just like, and this will be a, more of like a fan thing here. Uh, my dad actually died like 10, like almost 10 years ago to the day today. Oh, um, I'm sorry. And, oh it's okay. But I just think about the whatever. It's all good. Um, um, in 2000s, my dad was a huge Yankees fan. We all root for the same teams. My dad, during the Subway Series, Yankees-Mets, actually couldn't sit to watch the games because he was so nervous at the thought of losing to the Mets. Because, like, locally, like, we wouldn't, we are big brother as Yankee fans. We would never hear the end. We're expected to win. We'd right. never hear the end of it. He would literally leave the house to walk around the block because he couldn't sit because he was so nervous. Like, like the stakes... The stakes for Yankees Mets for Yankees fans are incredibly high yeah. because if the Yankees win, we're expected to win, and if we lose, we will actually never hear the end of it from Mets fans. And the sad thing is, and honestly, like I've got the the answers to the test for you guys right now when it comes to betting the baseball playoffs. So yeah. you ready for it? Yeah. I'm going to tell people how to make money. I'm a Yankee fan telling you this. Okay. If the Yankees make the World Series, I think they're going to. They should beat the Guardians or the Tigers. They will not win the World Series. They do not have the pitching to do it, and the hitters, for the most part, are choke artists. So whoever wins the National League, Dodgers, Padres, Mets, you bet that team in the World Series against the Yankees, and I think you're going to win. That's, also, that's a lock. And all, I, I don't know if it's a lock. I think I feel really strongly about it. And lock it up. If, if you want to make money tonight, the Dodgers are playing the Padres, Game 5 of the NLDS. You should be rooting for tonight. The Do And I bet the Padres in the series. You should be rooting for the Dodgers tonight. Because if it's Mets Dodgers in the NLCS, the Mets are going to win that series, and you will get them at plus money. So mm. Mets over Dodgers, whoever wins the National League over the Yankees in the World Series. It pains me to say that, but that's how I feel like we make money betting the baseball playoffs. Nick, another week and more gold from you. You are the best. Um, it's, uh, is my guy Dermot still there? I enjoyed no, that. He, he uh, yes, I... How freaking cool was that? I loved it. Yeah. That, wow. that house song's awesome. That song slaps. Yeah, it does.
I hate that word. Uh, so do I. Sorry, I, that song rips. <laughs> I hate that word, too. How about Come it's on. good? Yeah, it's excellent. <laughs> All right, Nick, what would you wish us if oh. you were allowed to wish us only one thing? Uh, Minute Black, and I wish you a couple things. Minimal sweats, winning bets, and the absolute very best of luck. Yeah.